Today is May 17th, um, 2020, and I'm still stuck at home here in the quarantine, and I was looking through some old code because I'm trying to uh, go back through and document more of my old projects, and I found um, some interesting code that I want to show in the next upcoming um, weeks. And So for this project, I used um, OpenCV and Python, along with the DJI Tello drone to do facial um, tracking and eye movement tracking um, that translates to movements on the drum. I found making this project to be a whole lot of fun. Um, there were a lot of interesting parts that worked together in this. What I enjoyed about this project is how modular it is and how adaptable I can use the code for other things. So basically the code set up into two different parts, one that controls the drone and one that controls the eye detection. For the eye detection, I use a PAR cascade, H-A-A-R, um, which basically runs over pixels and looks for patterns that are pre-trained in, in a model I downloaded. Breaks the face down into a map of facial landmarks, which basically indicates key points in the face. And using those key points, I'm able to figure out where in the face the eye is. Um, within that zone, I zoom in and run a circle detection algorithm. It makes a best guess at where the pupil is within the eye that it's found. And based on whether the pupil's looking to the right or the left in that video, um, different commands are sent to the drone. So the nice thing about the uh, DJI Tello drone is that um, there's an API for Python, so I can send commands to the drone and get video feed from the camera in the front. Um, and I found this to be very helpful in a lot of different projects, um, especially in more AI type projects, which I've been working on. So this project, um, basically the goal of the project was to use a webcam or the cam of um, your computer to track uh, your pupil movement in your eye to direct the steering of the drone. Once I found the facial landmarks, I was able to narrow down to the point of where your eye is. And then within that um, area, I look for, um, I use a circle detector to find the pupil within that eye area. And then I'm able to basically deduct which direction the pupil is looking at. And I can use that to send commands to the drone. Um, and while the project didn't work out incredible and uh, the, the results were not completely consistent, I think it was an interesting project. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing more stuff with this drone because there's a lot you can do with it.